Hi, welcome to Bulletproof Art. I'm Sam. Today we're gonna to be continuing our self-care challenge with week number four. So let's get to it. Before we get into the good stuff, I start by laying down the pen lines over top of my pencil lines of the larger portions of the items on this layout. This page is the layout for week four's subject, which is emotional care. I'm not gonna talk too much about it right now, so you'll just have to keep watching the video to get more information on it. Right now, I'm just outlining everything all at once, just so that I can save a little bit of time. And then I'm gonna jump over to next week's spread, which is just the weekly spread with my days of the week. This layout's pretty basic, there's not really much to it. There's seven boxes for each of the seven days of the week. And then I'm going to go back through and color in the top little bar of each box. And then there I'm going to write in the days of the week. On the top I am writing the title of this week, which is March 18th through the 24th. And I spent a little bit more time decorating the March on this one. I was zoning out, listening to music, and just got carried away. Now a lot of what you're about to see got cut off because I ran out of memory on my phone, so I apologize. It's just me writing in the days of the week. No big deal. And since this week's uh, subject is emotional care, I found two quotes on Pinterest that I decided to put in these two pages of my journal. So the one on this page says, healing isn't about changing who you are, it's about changing how you feel about who you are. And I really like this quote because it encourages us to love ourselves and not try to change who we are. And now for the part you've all been waiting for this whole time, the emotional care portion. Finally, gosh. Okay, so I'm coloring in the banners and then I'm gonna write emotional care across the top of the page. And then the little box in the cent- well I guess it's a big box. The big box in the center of the page is an emotional tracker. The first little box is when did it happen? When did you feel the emotion? The second box is what was the trigger? What triggered you to feel that emotion? The third box is what did you feel? What emotion were you feeling after being triggered? The fourth box, how did you react? How did you react to the emotion that you were feeling? And the last box is the good or bad consequences. So what were the consequences of the reaction? Now we're going to talk about how to reset and what brings you joy. The things I use to reset are deep breaths, positive affirmations, and drinking water. The things that bring me joy are yoga, journaling, and petting my cat, but that part got cut off. The quote in the left-hand corner also got cut off, but it reads, Do not drown in your own emotions. Take a breather. Regain your strength. Do not let your worries control you. In other words, Hakuna Matata. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I post videos twice a week. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!